A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the midweek edition of the show. Uh, promises to be exciting, fun-filled, as always. But let me start by um, telling you that Sports Tonight today will not be the usual length. I mean, we, we're always here for close to 50 minutes. Today's going to be very different. We'll be here for just about 30 minutes or thereabout. But not too much to worry about because the 30 minutes that will be here uh, to serve you the latest in the world of sports, we will put so much into it and uh, make sure that we leave nothing out. So thank you for joining us all the same. And let's travel this route uh, together. Let me introduce to you my partners on sports tonight this uh, midweek, this Wednesday, and then, of course, tell you what we have lined up for you uh, on, the, on this edition of the show. Tune Koike is to my um, immediate trial. Today, good to have you uh, on sports tonight, this, this midweek. We're looking forward to 2.30. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow morning, Night video. we'll keep video for the Eagles. And of course, Onye Buchimachuku, always here on Wednesdays. We're happy to have him back with us. We missed you last week, but yeah. good to have you back on uh, Sports Tonight. Yeah, Tony, Tony I was morning. Mm. I was morning. You know, those, those kids that uh, we are caught in their prime, mm. devastated mm. me. Is enough, uh, enough to keep us morning uh, for days? I uh, must have enough courage to come out. Mm. Mm. Because I also have kids in the federal government uh, college. So mm. I know what it is. Mm. So, mm. I mean, the government should do something, mm. honestly. All right, our it's prayer is that, here. yeah. Mm. But our prayer is that such terrible um, incidents um, will no longer be commonplace in Nigeria. Uh, our God will help us to put a stop, give our leaders the wisdom uh, to put a total stop to the kind of nonsense uh, that goes on, killing of kids and, and all of that. But let me just tell you that the program tonight, because it's going to be just about 30 minutes or thereabout, we're going to be focused on two major issues. Uh, the first one definitely has got to be what happened today, the biggest story coming out of Nigeria, the sports industry in Nigeria today has got to be the change of guards, a new chairman for the National Sports Commission, a new sports minister, so to say. We'll talk about it extensively. Who is the new man? What did the, old, what, what did the former sports minister achieve? What are the reactions? We'll talk about it. And of course... The second part of the show tonight will be focused on the game coming up in a couple of hours from now, the Super Eagles of Nigeria against the El Tri of Mexico, uh, the game taking place in the United States of America. Those are going to be uh, major issues uh, on sports tonight, this Wednesday. But in our usual style, we like to start by telling you that we want you to talk to us around these two issues on the program tonight. We want you to take advantage of our feedback mechanisms. Talk to us. Um, those platforms are showing on your screen. Give us your opinion to the issues we'll raise on the program tonight on Facebook channels, iPhone Sports, on Twitter channels, at channels underscore sports, at Tony Bitoye, my handle. Talk to us. What do you feel about the change of guards? What advice are you going to be giving the new sports minister? What would you remember about the outgoing sports minister, uh, Malambola Abdullahi, talk to us on Twitter. And of course, also tell us how you are building up to the big game that is taking place later today or tomorrow morning, Nigeria, Mexico, international friendly games. Some friendly games are going on as we speak. Some have been concluded. We'll take a look at them. But talk to us on Twitter uh, about the new sports minister. What legacies is the old one leaving? And what are your expectations as we get ready for that all important friendly. The friendly is looking more like a Nations Cup final. Everybody's talking about it, Nigeria against Mexico. So that's it. Um, that's what we expect from you on Twitter. Please get active with us, interact with us, and let us flow um, together. Gentlemen, um, this first part of the show, I think we should focus on um, the change that happened today. I mean, that's about the biggest story on the domestic scene around Nigerian sports. The biggest news coming out has got to be Mr. President has decided that there should be a change of guard uh, in the sports industry, in the sports ministry. And so we have a new sports minister. And if you've not seen him before, henceforth, anytime you see the picture of the man you're seeing on the screen, you've got to give him a lot of respect because now is a federal minister, is a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, not just any industry, that's the new sports minister. And his name is Dr. Tamuno uh, Danagogo, Winike. Winike Danagogo from River State. That's the new man, uh, that's in the new minister of sports, new chairman, uh, National Sports Commission. 
Gentlemen, before um, we go on, Oye, you've been trying to get some information around him. Who is Tamuno Danagogo? What do we know about him? We've been able to put a few uh, information together, and I'm sure it's going to be showing on your screen any moment from now. But Oye Wichimatiko will be telling us exactly what he knows about the new sports minister. Oye, who is Tamuno Danagogo? Yeah, Tony, um, Dr. Tamano Danagogo is, has a rich resume. He's a professor of law, uh, was one time um, lecturer at the University of Port Harcourt. Mm. But administratively, University, State University of Science and Technology. Absolutely. Administratively, he was once uh, one time executive uh, chairman, Akoko Toru Local Government, 2003 to 2007, then Commissioner of uh, Local Government and Community Affairs, and also Commissioner of Urban and Physical Planning, 2007 and 2013. He voluntarily resigned from office as a commissioner in 2013. Mm. So, so this is a much we... So he's a PhD holder, a lecturer um, of, law of law from the River State University of Science and, and Technology. Technology. So good pedigree today, good pedigree. I mean, no, nothing relating to sports, but, but we can argue it. Bolaji Abdullahi that has gone and has left the office that people no still yeah, had no background in sports as well. Yeah, I can't remember uh, the, the last uh, time we had... I was a professor. Wasn't exactly a success. Yeah, no, it wasn't exactly a Sanin success. Danusa, who is a, an engineer yeah. and a sports person, mm. also didn't really leave... Much of didn't have enough it. time, maybe. Yeah. Didn't have enough time to leave an, an impression. But this man, clearly, no background in sports, but a background in law. And when you are a learned... They call them a learned fellow. You should have an idea of what goes around. And I think... It, it, could, it could bring a lot, I think plenty. That, that is a simplistic way of looking at it. We've mm. seen educated people that, uh, that uh, their intellect is a lot to be desired. Mm. But I'm just hoping that uh, the, the new, mini, new, new minister is a cut above the rest. Uh, in, in all honesty, I, nobody saw this one coming. It was mm. a mm. huge, huge shock. Uh, and I'm, I'm particularly pained personally. I have never met uh, the former minister. I've never met him in person. I've never spoken to him. But I, I can still remember that he was probably the most approachable, most earnest most, uh, most driven sports minister that we've had in over a decade. And I, I'm sure that his legacy will live